Gathering surveillance on a secure compound is no easy task, especially with a 20-foot wall in between. But by using a few repurposed supplies and a basic knowledge of laws and physics, the problem becomes a cinch. Attach helium balloons to a driveway mirror in order to reflect optical information onto a better location, say the inside of an HD camera. Control the drone with some high-test fishing line and you'll be able to maneuver and angle the mirror as needed. By using buoyancy force equations, one can aptly demonstrate the force of Newtonian mechanics on these balloons. Come in here closer, I'll show you. What we have here is a system with a convex mirror. This will enable us to see the underside because of reflection. Right you are, but first we need to figure out how to get the mirror above the wall. To make the drone float, we need to calculate the downward force acting on it due to gravity. Let's start by finding the gravitational effect on the mirror in latex balloon skin. Newton's second law reveals that the force equals the mass of each object times its acceleration, the gravitational constant of 9.8 meters per second squared. Once we convert the mass of each object into the standard unit of the kilogram, we can just plug it into the equation, leaving us with a downward force of 12 newtons. Okay, so we know that we need to get a buoyancy force of helium greater than the total weight of the drone. We've accounted for the mirror and the balloon skin, and the weight of the fishing line is negligible. However, the helium atoms inside the balloon are unaccounted for because we still don't know how much to use. Rewrite Newton's second law using density and volume for mass, and we'll use Archimedes' principle to substitute the buoyancy force to the product of volume, gravity, and the density of air. Add in the previous 12 newtons and solve for V to get a total volume of 1.1 meters cubed. So how many balloons is that? If one spherical 24-inch balloon holds 0.12 meters cubed, it would take at least 10 of them to lift up the mirror. Optical equations can also give us the distance of the image in the convex mirror. Attach the balloons to the mirror using duct tape, tie the fishing line on it, and let it fly. All right. Unfortunately, wind tore off from the balloons right after takeoff, but that's what spares are for. After tying on another and re-securing the rest, the balloon drone floated upward nicely during the calm period. Zooming in on the convex mirror provided a comprehensive layout of the compound, which was demonstrated as the area inside a nearby fenced-in tennis court. Overall, the experiment was successful. Instead of needing 10 balloons, the drone only needed 7 because each balloon was larger than 24 inches. Sometimes when you're a spy, science is your most valuable asset.